Um, basically, it's just slowed everything down. People are coming in scared, don't want to eat oysters, even if they take a look at them. Uh, very frustrated, angry. It's a uh, hate to make it sound like an old cry, but we just survived Katrina, and here we are again. No comment, sir. No comment. All right. Thanks. Anyway. I've also been here for three weeks, and I've seen it on TV. And you know, it's a big shame, but they will get it fixed sooner or later. I hope. Oil's been like it's a bloody disgrace. I think about the time Obama got up his ass and done something about it. Absolute disgrace. Oh, experiencing it firsthand. We're from Mississippi, so we're shut down in Mississippi as well. Shut down? Yeah, pretty much everything water wise, fishing the Gulf is all shut down. I fish a lot, so I haven't been able to fish for at least 78 days. No, I'm not commercial, recreation. And how do you feel about it? How do you feel about this oil? I absolutely don't like it. Why? Like, that means less boat rides going to the island. I think if that stays away from the city, everything's going to be fine. But I know it's already in the marshlands and it's affecting the birds. And I really feel bad about it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's mainly in the hands of politicians and big businesses at this point. They should have had valves someplace, the shuttle valves. No matter of common sense can tell you pressurize, you have other preventive me methods in place to eliminate such this tremendous spill we have now. This should never take place. Two or three days, yes, the oil isn't the only problem. It's the methane. It's taking the air out of the water. And if this thing gets into the Gulf Stream, it becomes a worldwide problem. Doing that. Those are things that don't hit our daily news. The fact that you have to have oil because built, we've already built an economy around it. But until everybody makes that decision to say, look, okay, I understand, am I really in for this or am I just talking? Well, it is. I mean, people are just not realistic. They, they, they don't want to do nothing. They want to talk about things. Because if you really want to do something, you just do it. So right now, the only thing that's keeping the oil going up is the pressure it's coming from. All right, let's, let's get that understand. It's been under high pressure. So once the pressure levels off, if it takes that long to cap this thing, then water, the pressure from it above, is going to seep into the hole. Fill the cavern up at 400 degrees or better, Fahrenheit. Hot, hot. It's going to create so much steam that it's going to blow. Dude, it'll blow. From what I read today, it, it's, a, it's a scary scenario. And it makes sense. It's plausible. That's 80,000 pounds per square inch coming out of that hole. And let me tell you, it's eating up the casing because it's just not oil. Because what happened was that so much was displaced that actually sand, gravel, and it's actually sanding the 10-inch the ten inch pipe that it's in with the 2-inch wall. See, the thing is that what they are, they're, they're trying to prevent is from the blowout preventer coming out because there's pressure all around that pipe. And the more the pipe thins, the less, the less flexible strength it has. 